Welcome to day 39 of my 100 days of Waffler journey. Today we're gonna convert our native Waffler slider into a scrollable slider. So basically it will change slides on the wheel, on the scroll of the wheel of my mouse. So we're gonna add a custom code to make that happen. And this is basically making my page or my slider be in a horizontal scroll. So this can be useful if you're creating something like that or if you're creating a section where you want like some sort of a horizontal slider scroll. Yeah, let's see how that is done. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Waffle journey by turning on that notification bell so that you can see these videos on time. Let's get to it. Okay, so what we have here is a slider. Now, this is a, just a full page slider. Now this is a native Webflow slider. You see it's slider main, and then inside it there's there are slides. Usually this is the mask, and then there are three uh, slides. So they're they're a class slide, and they have a combo class of slide one, slide two, slide three. And if we see here in preview, they're just three sliders looking similar. Uh, they're like full page sliders. So this was based on a template. Uh, I was giving this project to work on but what I want here is to make this slider change on scroll so when I scroll I want the slider to slide basically so how do we do that now of course we're gonna put a custom code and uh, in order to do that I'm gonna use Slater because it's a great place to put custom code so we'll launch Slater launch the app We'll go to Slater and then we will go and get that code that I prepared for us. So this code, you can copy it. Of course, I'm going to leave this for you as a clonable and you can copy this code from there. So what does this code do? Basically, it's using the debounce function. So the debounce function helps with, uh, you know, uh, making a function, making like a, an event and then waiting or like making a multiple events and having the action wait or be on hold so we're doing that and then we're doing a timeout function so basically we're just understanding what's going on and then applying the action so the action is basically uh, click on arrow right whenever i scroll uh, so if i scroll you know give me the debounce function and then click on arrow right if i'm scrolling in the direction in one direction and if I scrolling in the other direction just click on arrow left and then there is a timeout function which let me increase actually and then um, I'm targeting the slider main which is like the main slider the the mother the parent slider and then you know we're binding this to a wheel mouse wheel function so that it moves with the wheel with the mouse wheel so that's happening on scroll. Now, let me save this. Actually, first, let me install the Slater app on my project. I will go to uh, my project settings, my page settings, and I will go to the before body tag, paste this, save, and then close. And then I will publish the site. And then I will click on a preview. And then now you can see that when I slide, the slider is changing. At the same time, when I click, the slider is also changing. And if I slide up, it goes back. And if I slide down, it goes up. This also works with the trackpad, you know, up and down trackpad uh, movement so that I can also move it with the trackpad. But mainly it's with the wheel. So that's how it was set up with the mouse wheel. So better use it with the mouse wheel. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I taught you something today. I'm going to leave this clonable for you in the description below so you can play around with it and see what you can create with it. Uh, if you have any comments, please drop them in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Fofla journey. See you tomorrow in day 40.